The delegate option on a Synology NAS is designed to allow you as the administrator to give non-admin users access to a limited subset of controls over your NAS. So for example, if you work in an IT department, you might want a colleague to be able to manage user accounts. However, as it would be bad practice to simply allow that colleague to have the details to the administrator's account, you would use Delegate to give your colleague's user account specific access to certain parts of your NAS that will allow them to create, edit, and delete users and groups. Let's take a look at Delegate by first signing into our NAS using our administrator's credentials. If we select Control Panel, and then choose User and Group. In the User panel, we will find a series of buttons that includes Delegate. When we select Delegate, we are presented with two options, Delegate Administration and Permission Viewer. As we have not yet highlighted a user account, Delegated Administration is currently greyed out. So let's take a quick look at Permission Viewer. The idea of Permission Viewer is to allow you to see what delegated permissions a user might have been given. However, as we currently have no users assigned with delegate permissions, there's nothing to see. Using the example we mentioned earlier, rather than having to make changes to user accounts from within our administrator's account, we want to be able to edit user accounts from within another account. So first we need to highlight a user account select Delegate, and from the drop-down menu, choose Delegated Administration. Within Delegated Administration, we have the name of our highlighted account, along with a list of the roles that can be delegated. As each role is clearly defined, there's no need for us to repeat what is written. So by ticking any combination of checkboxes, we can give a user specific access control over our NAS. As we only want this user account to have permissions to edit account details and reset passwords, we're going to assign our account with local user and group management. After selecting OK, we are prompted to enter the administrator's password for our NAS. When we select Submit, the user account is assigned with delegate rights, which we can confirm if we take a look at Permission Viewer. Let's sign out of our administrator's account and log into our user account. The first thing that you will notice is that while this is a standard user account, on the desktop we have a control panel icon. However, if we select this icon, unlike when we are in the administrator's account, we only see the user and group icon. When we select user and group, while we do not have access to the administrator's account, we do have access to all the standard user accounts on our NAS. This means that we now have another user on our home network who is able to manage user accounts without us having to give them full access to our NAS or our administrator's username and password. So to summarize, in this video, we took a look at the delegate option on a Synology NAS, which might be a useful way to add a layer of protection to your administrator's account.